Hey everyone, welcome to another MLM Dumpster Fire. Today we're back for another Kelsey video. Yet another one, I know. This one's a little bit shorter, it's 11 minutes long and I have some screenshots, some of her posts and some of her before and after photos that I wanted to go through, read through and comment with you guys because I think they're misleading deceiving in my opinion and I'm curious what you guys are going to think about that. I want to keep covering Kelsey because I'm really personally angry, not angry, a little bit pissed off. She's doing the boot camp thing when she's not certified. She's doing like this meal plans and stuff like that and that pisses me off as someone who was scammed by an Instagram influencer who gave me a cookie cutter um, program, workout and meal program. I think that was 2018. I'm still clearly not over it. It brought a lot of bad things in my life and it took me like two years to recover, over two years. So this kind of thing when people who are not certified, who don't know what they're talking about, are doing something as dangerous as this. Uh, it can be dangerous for people's health, they can injure themselves, they can develop a bad relationship with food, EDs, things like that. So it just pisses me off, so I want to keep covering Kelsey. And don't you worry, you know, usually when I cover Kelsey, I cover Courtney as well. Uh, I'm gonna cover Courtney next week, so yeah, we'll see. Well, let's just get into this. Uh, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. That's a nice free way to support my channel, if you would like, of course, no pressure. And big shout out to all my channel members as always. I do appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here. And I'm sorry, you're probably gonna see my ring light a little bit, but I need my glasses to be able to read her posts because otherwise I can't see shit. But you probably know that. If you're an OG who's been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have a very bad eyesight. Okay, so she says, if you are new to my page, I bet you didn't know I used to make a living by cleaning houses and I had a sugar daddy and that emoji, like, uh, yikes. Which... I mean, if you want to have a sugar daddy, go off. Who are we to judge, right? But she says, I did that for over a two years, for over two years. And it was taking a toll on my mental health. On top of it, barely paying the bills. Don't they give like a lot of money? sometimes. I don't know, maybe not all. What the hell do I know about sugar daddies? Giving away my body, especially for money, was the most traumatic thing I've done to myself. Then the hard labor of housekeeping wasn't helping. I kind of thought that sugar daddies, you just hang out with them without like physical. How does that work? I don't know how that works. I don't know. Obviously, if you're doing that and you're not liking it, I, I, I understand that it is traumatic. Is this the first time that she's mentioning that. Not saying that she's lying, I'm just saying I, I have not heard her reference a sugar daddy before. Five years ago, my sister started some online thing and I laughed because those things aren't real, right? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I'm five years in and let me tell you some things I have experienced because of one of those things I decided to take a chance on. I make a full-time income from my phone. No income claims, I actually work really hard. <laughs> Still made an income claim. Been out of the country five times. I mean, I guess in Europe it's different because all the countries are so close to each other. So like I leave the country like 10 times a year. I know there's a lot of viewers for Americans. Do you guys leave the country? How often can you afford to leave the country? Well, you can go to Canada. Why am I getting hung up on this? Create my own schedule and work from anywhere. Paid off my debt built my social media platforms from zero to over one and a half million followers. I never know where she's getting the one and a half millions because I know she had a TikTok account that was pretty large, but I think she had 300,000 or 400,000, which was her biggest account. I don't think she's using it because I wasn't able to find that account. I found the smaller one, the new one that she made. I don't know where she's getting the 1.5 million. I don't think it was that big. Anyway, helped over 500 people become a better wor version of themselves through this industry. Earned a paid for Cadillac Escalade. The way our life shifted after I decided to give it all and learn new ways of living life to the fullest. I am so glad I didn't brush this off as just a scam. It's 2024 and if you're not monetizing on social media, why? They've been saying this for years, like, oh, it's 2022 and if you're not monetizing your social media, what are you doing? I won't lie, it's not for everyone. Not everyone can commit to becoming better and helping others do it too. But if you want to have more time in your schedule, create passive income, Income, create a life you can live anywhere, 
change lives and make a change, then this could be for you. If you think this is something you want to learn more about, comment dollar sign and let's get it, baby. So her team is apparently over 500 people, but like if you have 500 people in your downline, if someone joins your downline, that doesn't necessarily mean that you help them become a better person. How does that work? Or does she mean that she has over 500 people who are successful and then she would have thousands of people who are not successful in her downline? I don't know how large her downline is, but... So she used to thought network marketing is a scam, apparently. So this is not the first time that we hear something like that either. They'd be like, oh, I was the biggest skeptic but then I gave this an opportunity like no if you were really actually a skeptic for all the right reasons like anti-MLM you wouldn't end up joining because you know that the majority of people don't make any money that they don't profit you know that the business model is unethical in my opinion and it's set up so that the majority of people are never going to be successful they're never going to make any profit so you wouldn't join and then we have this unrelated i didn't screenshot the post that she made but i did screenshot this before and after that she posted this can literally be in the same day like the photos where she's in her underwear can be like your morning flat belly right before you have any food and then this can be at the evening after you've had all the food there's nothing wrong with that like i don't see anything really too different other than her belly and this can be your period bloat it can be just a random bloat it can be a post-workout bloat it can be whatever just bloated belly versus not bloated belly to me yeah i just don't like that you guys can let me know down below i think but like i hope the majority of us who see something like this on social media I would be like okay so you were bloated and then you were not bloated in the other pictures right it's sad that people actually still fall for pictures like that and of course she tried to say the boot camp and the ketones are what made her belly not bloated anymore but anyway let's get into this video now let's watch it Hey, 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 it's Kelsey Ray coming at you live from Bluffton, South Carolina. I am on a little mini vacay right now with my family and we are so excited. We're going to go ride some bikes on the beach here in a little bit, but I have not had Facebook for 24 hours. I have been getting text messages like crazy talking about, hey, I'm searching for your name. I can't find you on Facebook. Did you block me? I did not block you. I am here. I am back on Facebook. They took, they took it away for a minute, but that's cool. If you can see this, do me a favor. Just say hi. Say hey in the comments so I can make sure that you are seeing this, that you are seeing me because um and then another thing too is like sometimes that happens and like sometimes it doesn't come back and so make sure you're you go to the link in the bio and you follow me on my tiktok and my instagram um hi Brittany, hi patty y'all say hi say hello in the comments making sure that you guys can see me and hear me okay i do have airpods in and i'm connected to some jinky wi-fi hi Brittany, what's up girl um, and then do me a favor because I'm going to speak some real truth in this live. And so tap that arrow, tap that, uh, that share button. Is she going to say why she got blocked? This was a while ago when she got blocked by Facebook or Facebook was removed or whatever, deactivated. I don't know why, but I, I guess she's not going to address it either. And, and comment the word shared. I'll put your name into my weekly giveaway. Um, and, and I do that every single week. So um, my family of six right now is on a mini vacation in Bluffton, South Carolina. You guys can drop your your um, area in the comments but we decided last minute to just kind of pick up and go um, we have been working our Eric and I have been working our asses off crazy lately and so we're like you know what we we, we need a trip we want a trip so like a four-day mini vacation it's only like two and a half hours from where we live and so that was pretty cool and so that's what we're doing right now we're going to the beach later um, but one thing I will tell you you guys is like I oh my god mosquitoes are crazy out here hi Rachel hi Shay hi Lena what's up hello you guys say hi say hello you can, might be able to hear my kids screaming in the background because that's just what they do um but it's crazy to me and I want to go live about this because five years ago I would have never been able to just pick up and go on a vacation or just or just like pick up and do something with my kids because I didn't have the money to like how many of you guys are stay-at-home moms you could put stay-at-home mom in the comments hi Rachel hi Crystal hi Katie hi Angie hi you guys y'all say hi say hello um so how many of you guys are stay-at-home moms you can put stay-at-home mom or just put me Katie thank you for sharing I appreciate you so much girl um and then you you're in this position like where you know maybe your man goes to work and he pays the bills 
but you don't have enough money to really kind of do anything with your kids. Like you want to be able to go on adventures and maybe go take family trips and do these things, but you aren't able to financially do that. I feel like a lot of us are in a, a lot. A lot of the people are sadly in that position, Kelsey, but a lot of the people, it's not going to help them if they join your prove it business because the majority of people don't profit. They don't profit working the business. I'm going to link the income disclosure statement from prove it down below. And it's not just prove it, it's all MLMs. So the fact that she's guilt tripping these moms who are maybe are not earning any income on the side they're stay-at-home moms and they don't work part-time or anything like that so like guilt tripping them like this of like oh but you can't go anywhere with your child oh, you should join my team because look i can do that now i'm so rich for my private business it's just so slimy to me it's disgusting in my opinion because she knows very well again in my opinion i don't know that for a fact but if you're on top of an mlm I don't think that you can be at the top for too long without realizing that the majority of people in your downline are not profiting. They're not making any money. You are, but the rest of them aren't. I know you can get to the top maybe, but you can't stay at the top for like years and years like Kelsey here without realizing what's going on underneath you, right? What do you think about that? Like I said, guilt tripping moms like that for something that they can't do, they're not able to do financially only to recruit them into a scam, in my opinion, where they're not gonna make any money, they're gonna spend money on expensive products. So it's gonna be even worse, it's gonna get them into an even worse position than they are, or they were before they joined Prove It. Not me anymore, but a lot of people are in like financial ruins where you just don't have any money for anything extra. Like you have money to pay your bills, get your groceries and, and survive, and that's it. And like, I don't know who needs to hear this, but like, I don't wanna live a life of 70, 80 years and just like survive. Like I want to live a life that I am creating. I want to live a life of freedom where I'm able to go and do things if I please. Like we, it's not normal. We shouldn't be stuck inside. Yeah, she says she wants to live a life of freedom while she's on holidays, live streaming and trying to recruit people. So she's still working. You can't get a holiday. Seemingly, I mean, you can't go on a holiday without working your business and just relax for a few days. You know, all the time and not being able to explore the world. And so I've been out of the country five times since I've started doing what I do. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Christina. And the reason that I'm able to just kind of pick up and go, by the way, you guys, please do me a favor. Say hi in the comments um, and then tap that share button, comment the word shared so that I can make sure that everybody knows I am back on Facebook and we are good to go. Hi, Courtney. It wouldn't be a Kelsey video if she wasn't begging for engagement every like half a minute. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Melissa. Christina. Hello. Uh, yeah, my Facebook was gone for 24 hours. So if you're seeing this, say hi. Um, and so anyways, five years ago, I was not able to do any of that thing, any of those things. And so now here we are, we're doing that. And the reason is, is because I don't know if you guys have ever heard of something called exogenous ketones. They helped me lose 55 pounds. I thought it was bullshit. I thought it was a scam. When I first came into it, my sister was doing it. I thought it was a scam. And so anyways, I started drinking it. I started doing like keto dinners and like moving my body and just, it helped me to like launch, it helped to launch myself into the fitness world of like moving my body. Um, and the ketones didn't help you do the, it's you moving your body is what did it. And you working out is what did it. And you're probably changing what you eat, how much you eat, maybe portion size. I don't know what exactly she did. All of that helped you lose weight. It's not the ketones. It's not the supplements. If you're a healthy adult, you don't have any health issues which would prevent you from losing weight you don't need any supplements to lose weight so I fell in love I ended up losing 55 pounds in the first four months of drinking ketones and now here we are five years later where I'm, I'm making a full-time income from my phone I'm able to travel the world I have my passport now as a felon as a dropout like I had no followers no experience when I started this so if you're like girl I really need to make some extra money I just I want you to put a dollar sign in the comments below so that we can have a conversation because how many of you guys could use just maybe a couple extra hundred bucks a month maybe you want to make cash on a weekly basis because we do have an affiliate opportunity with that as well so you can comment the word cash or like i said just drop a dollar sign um hi sydney hi vivi hi kayla um courtney i have no idea why it was going honestly i do not 
uh sometimes facebook just does that it's like so lovely but yeah i would love to facebook doesn't just sometimes deactivate your account you probably were reported or you did something that you broke the guidelines like they're not just gonna take down your account help you guys if you're watching this right now i think that you're probably watching this for a reason and so i have been doing it for five years and it's like it's not something that's an overnight success i'm not gonna lie to you but what i will do is i will teach you how to brand yourself how to have real conversations with people who really want to do what you're doing because you love what you're doing i'm not going to teach you how to cold message anybody or post a bunch of graphics and spammy stuff what you see on my social media i will teach you how to do so if you're like oh i would love to build a following i'd love to monetize my social media i would love to make some you know i don't know two three hundred dollars extra a week maybe to help with groceries or get my hair done then comment a dollar sign because you're missing out you miss a hundred percent of the chances of the shots that you don't take in life and had I missed this opportunity five years ago, I would not be sitting here making a full-time income from my phone, able to travel the world, do what I want with my kids. Up at last minute, we're just like, let's just take a trip. And that's what we did. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Megan. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Justin. What's up? Hi, D. Do me a favor. Uh, if you're watching this right now and you can hear me clearly, please tap the arrow, tap the share button, comment the word shared. I'll put your name into my weekly giveaway. You could win some free ketones, okay? And so, yeah, like, I don't know. I was. How many of you guys are OGs? Drop OG in the comments if you've been around for a while because you know and you remember the she shed. I lived in this, like, tiny shack of a home. At that time, I was just a single mom. And so where's all my moms at? Drop the word mom in the comments. At that time, I was just a single mom. Um, and we lived in this, like, tiny little shed. And I was cleaning houses at that time, like, a handful of cleaning, like, l local people that I'd clean for. It was, like, five people, right? And then I had a sugar daddy. And I don't say that to brag or that I loved it. Like, I actually hated it. But I somehow fell into that, you know, into the sex working field. And I did it because I felt like, I didn't feel like I did it because I was doing what I felt like I needed to do to put a roof over my son's head and to give him a, a good life. You know, I didn't want to put him in, in daycare. How many of you guys have young kids? Drop a yes in the comments. If you have young kids right now and you are dreading putting them in daycare, anybody comment the word yes. Um, because for me, that's what it was is like I started the sex working field because I didn't want to put my son in daycare just to go to work just to pay for daycare. It didn't make sense to me. And so the way that it happened, the, the way that, you know, you know, oh, sorry, I realized I, I was smiling at that. I wasn't smiling at the story about sugar daddy and everything. I, I was actually typing a message, got distracted. Comment the word OG if you have been here for a while, if you're an OG on my channel and if you have watched my videos back when I used to live in a little shack type of apartment where the water was filthy all the time. And our window was letting in all the breeze and cold air and you guys are OGs if you've been here for that long. First God worked it out is I was doing those things, my sister started do drinking ketones and and then I, I, you know, I told her it was bullshit. I told her it was a scam. How many of you guys drop me in the comments if you're like, yeah, girl, that's me over here. I'm, I'm a little skeptical. Are you skeptical? Like, honestly, be real with me. It's okay if you are. I totally get it, okay? So I was really skeptical. I was like, no, you don't have to have a supplement to eat. All you gotta do is eat right and exercise, blah, 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 blah. And by the way, ketones are not a weight loss supplement. It is fuel for your body, for your brain. It gives you good, clean energy, focus, mental clarity. It curbs your appetite. It is so much more than just burning your fat off of your body, okay? Um, so if you want to learn more about it, again, drop a dollar sign in the comments. Okay, so like if you want to make money, right? And so anyways, I tried the ketones. I fell in love. You know, I ate my words because I was like, oh, whatever. Like it, they tasted great, which I'm not, I was not used to. I've done, it works in the past and that shit does not work. Um, and so it tasted amazing. And I was like blown away. How many of you guys are, are skeptical? Cause you are like, you are traumatized from something being nasty. Hi, Jessica. Hi. Oh, she just shaded another MLM company. It works. It doesn't work. Oh, I agree. It probably doesn't work, but I, I've, I don't think I've ever heard uh, an MLM hun throw shade at her previous MLM like that outright. They usually say, oh, my last company, my previous company. They don't usually name them. Not that I've heard of anyway. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Joe. Uh, and so that was me. I was like traumatized from eating or drinking nasty drinks that are supposed to work and never did right um and so i tried this and within four months i lost 55 pounds of fat you know and i want to help you guys do i want to help you become the best version of yourself and get healthier and make money while doing it and if that's something that you want genuinely drop a dollar sign or the word help and you losing weight doesn't necessarily mean that you're healthy or you being skinny doesn't necessarily mean that you're healthy when i was at my skinniest i was at my most unhealthy 
est. The comments and I can send you details, but here's the thing. I will never message you unless you ask me to, unless you comment a specific comment that I'm asking, unless you comment a dollar sign or the word cash, I'm not going to just randomly message you saying, Hey girl, I saw that you watched my live. You want to do what I'm doing? That's a cold message. I'm not doing that. Okay. But that's definitely not true. Jessica, that's something that you believe. What do you, what are you um, basing that belief on? I'm just curious. Are there studies? There's not any studies. Um, these ketones are doctor formulated. And so like quite literally doctors may. I'd love to hear Jessica's comments. I wonder why she's not gonna, she's not gonna read Jessica's comments. These, these ketones. Um, and the way that they make your brain work is absolutely phenomenal. It's great. So, um, but yeah, here I am on a mini little vacay that we decided to take last minute. Um, my Facebook is back, so make sure that you guys, if you're seeing this, you could drop a hey, drop a hi in the comments. And then if you want to support me and you're not a hater, then tap that share button, the little arrow, comment the word shared, and I will put your name into my weekly giveaway, okay? Um, that's what I was wondering. Will your body get used to it? No, definitely not. It's the same concept of... You know, you're low on iron, so you go take an iron supplement. Or you might be low on estrogen, so you get estrogen supplements at the doctor. Like, will your body ever, like, not accept the estrogen or the... No. It's like, that's that the logic behind that is, like, people who don't believe in this will try and make you second guess it. And the only way for you to know if it's for you or if it actually works for you is for you to just try it. If you want to try without having to buy like a big kit or maybe you don't want to join the business, you just want to try the ketones, drop the word try in the comments and I can send you... Um Did she just compare taking ketones to your iron being low and you taking supplements for iron? Like what? That is not the same thing. What? Um, I have trials available stop go um um yeah so comment the word try i'll send you details about the trials that i have available um but the kids are now literally barking at the door so we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and hop off daddy's trying to contain them i just went for a walk um if you're not watching my stories you should be okay i try to stay consistent with everything as much as possible but um, I'm super excited for you guys. And so if you want to learn more about the business and making some money, comment a dollar sign. Uh, I love y'all so much. I appreciate you so much for hopping on here. Even if you just hop on and watch my lives, thank you so much. Like you, you contribute and you support me in this and it helps a lot. It goes a long way. So thank you for saying hi. Thank you for sharing whatever it is that you did. Hi, Jessica. What's up, girl? Hi, Christina. Lisa, Trisha, Victoria. I miss a couple of y'all's names, but I love y'all so much. I'm going to hop off now and I will see you guys live tomorrow. Bye. What just happened? I don't know, but I'm going to wrap that one up here because it's really hot and I am all melted. Thank you for watching, especially if you made it this far. Watching through all the way to the end really helps my channel out a lot. It's a nice free way to support me. Just like subscribing and liking. And as always, big shout out to my channel members. I wouldn't be here without you guys. It really means the world to me and I will see you all in the next one. And let me know down below what you think about Kelsey and all of this. If I forgot to comment on something, which probably I did. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.